Both of my grandmother was really nice and they could really cook, you know, what they had. Mm -hmm. This lady here, this is a story here. She had one baby after another. And it was Gussie. <gasps> Gussie had so many babies, see she pregnant again right there. <laughs> and my grandmother had a bag of cotton that coming out there, she uh, on the porch. And my grandmother asked her, how many you gonna have? You already got eight. How you gonna feed all those children? You know, but they grew up. Some went to New York. Some in Connecticut now. They 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 about seventy nine themselves, of uh, uh, older, cause some of them was older than me. But they they got up, got good education. But we always wonder how they how did the world that she make it. Mm -hmm. All they did was pick cotton like we did. Mm -hmm. And in the winter time, you have nothing to do mm -hmm. but try to survive in cutting wood and putting in the fireplace, mm -hmm. cutting potatoes in the bank. People ask me now when I go to college and tell those young people, they say, Miss Helen, what's a bank? Potato bank. Mm -hmm. I said, potato bank, you dig, daddy dig a deep hole in the ground. You put pine straw in it. You put your potatoes in it. You put another layer of pine straw, another layer of potatoes, another layer of pine straw. Then you cover it up with dirt. You got a bank. You go in that bank for winter time. You get your potatoes out, put in the oven and bake. Now they don't know what that is. They don't know what a well is. I draw wells on my painting. Old outdoor toilet. They don't know what the world that is.